Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Don Danielle. Overall experience in Tokyo, Japan. The only thing I would have changed is staying a little bit shorter. Because it was so expensive and I wasn't really sure of what I wanted to do when I got to the city, I think I cheated myself out of some experiences, but I still had a really good time. I met a lot of cool locals, I ate a lot of good food. I found out I like seafood. That was interesting, at least Jap Japanese seafood for sure. Um, I ate a lot of good desserts and I love the street styles. Just walking through Tokyo felt like this, at least I was in a soccer saw in all fairness for most of the trip but walking through some of these street styles was just interesting to take in the architecture and just feel like I was in this like you know magical little <laughs> storybook They did have a lot of markets as well. I bought some, I did a little bit of shopping. They had some street markets as well, but not for food. It was geared towards shopping and clothes. Being a black woman in Japan, I didn't have any issues. I felt really unbothered. And the nice thing was nobody stared. Maybe they were too asleep on the train to notice. I was actually in a market in Asakusa and the sweet little lady, I was buying one of those drinks with the marbles in it from her. And she pulls me aside and she's like, my daughter, she's half black and Japanese. And I was like, oh. And it was so sweet because she sounded so proud of it and it was really nice to hear. But overall, I had no issues with it. Um, like I said, everybody's experience is different. Personally, nobody bothered me in Japan. Overall, the locals, they keep to themselves too, but they seem a little more willing to kind of open up and talk to you as well. I'm not able to be a fair judge of that because I met more locals in Tokyo than I did in Seoul, so that might have contributed. But overall, it was a pretty chill experience. Nobody bothered me. I didn't feel awkward as a black woman in Japan. And I did enjoy the city itself. I love the atmosphere. I love the architecture and the street styles. I really enjoyed the food, seafood and dessert for sure. And I would go back, like I said, I would have just made it a little bit shorter. You know, um, like I said, the city is very expensive. It does add up, but I did enjoy myself in Tokyo, especially being able to embrace all this pop culture and everything nerd. It was so nice to see. I wouldn't say Tokyo is overrated. It is a very lively and vibrant city. There's lots to do and lots of food, good food to eat, but I wouldn't spend weeks on end there. I enjoyed myself, but I know after a while it probably would have worn off. That said, that's all I have for you all. Thank you all for watching and I will see you on the next adventure. Bye!